A great resource that we have available here at Ingram MicroCloud, as well as part of our Dynamics 365 Accelerate program, is the Partners Guide to Dynamics 365. Now, this is something we've created to enable partners to better self-serve and easier self-serve uh, platform in order to actually get answers to maybe customer questions or queries or even questions and queries that you may have you can always come to us we have you know a, a, an expert team of dynamics experts uh, as part of the dynamics accelerate program but this guide hopefully will help more partners just have more conversations with customers about dynamics and get to some of the answers that they they you know have and that we see frequently now it is just the PDF, so you can just scroll through. But the way in which this has been created is a dead simple, nice and easy to use click-through document. So actually what this enables you to do is let's say, for example, you wanna to go to menu page two or menu page one, you can click nice and easily. Now let's say, for example, you wanna start off with something really basic, like what is Dynamics 365? We've got one page covering off, you know, a very basic, what is Dynamics 365? hopefully will help uh, you know from a pitch perspective you also have some very nice advantages of dynamics 365 as well um, so what are those advantages around seamless integration with microsoft 365 and so on you've also got very basic what is crm versus erp questions we get asked frequently um, so again just keeping it nice and basic but with really good explanations and as we go into more of the more specifics, I would say, around dynamics, so you've got an overview of, you know, what's customer engagement, business central, unified operations, a bit of a key page, if you like, because we're so used to the terminology of CRM and ERP, this kind of simplifies it in the Microsoft perspective, so you can see what applications fall where. You can actually click in and click into these in more details, but I'm going to show you where you can do that again uh, shortly. You've also got licensing overview as well. So understanding the uh, the licensing, you can also see uh, the BC licensing, so Business Central, or go back. You also have how to license, so from the point of view of a user or a device SL. Um, we also have, if I just go back into there and go into the licensing overview, additional applications. So what goes with what? You know, we've, we hear more and more about AI functionality increasing with these insights applications. So it's understanding more about those and being able to see demos and so on. But also, if I just go back, you can see what can be added to what in a nice, again, simple format. Uh, and then you've got page two for the unified operations applications as well. Now, if I just go into the customer engagement applications, you have the different applications, quick bullet points about each one. But if you click in, you see more information again to, again, help um, understand those benefits to an end customer. And then you also have um, where there's different versions of that application, like with sales, this professional enterprise and premium. You can click in and see the functionality differences between all of them. So, again, just trying to simplify that for you as a user of this uh, to explain that to a customer. You could even screenshot this and send it to the customer if that's something they want to see. Now, if I just go back again, you'll see that we've got the exact same thing for customer service, professional versus enterprise. Uh, and then for the applications that don't have that, you just see a nice and simple overview of each one. Um, you've got the exact same thing for unified operations as well. So you can click in and you see more information about those applications. At the bottom of each of these, you're going to see team members information as well. If it's a unified operations application, you're going to see that kind of information, which basically tells you what access a team member license is going to provide. So again, we've got some really good information on this. Uh, you've then also got more information about Business Central and again, Essentials versus Premium, what's the difference? Um, you've also got Dynamics 365 versus the world. So this again, nice and simple, but basically if you're competing with a different product, let's say it's Sageline 50, you can click into there, you can see the difference in functionality between Business Central and Sage 50. You can see the pros and cons of both and we have that across all of these as well. So using that as an example. And then when we go into, uh, we have more information around the breadth to CSP. So more information on that, if that's something that you're looking into. Um, you then also have the Better Together story. So these applications, how they integrate with Dynamics 365, whether that's Microsoft 365, and then you have the Power Platform here as well. So I just go into Teams. 
I can see some information on that and even go to a demo video provided by one of our elite service providers. So we have some really great information to again help ben you know articulate those benefits of using Microsoft 365 with Dynamics 365. You also got old versus new. So if you're, for example, moving from NAV to Business Central, let's have a look at that information. What's the difference? Um, it might be that you just want to see what cloud capabilities are not available on premise. Again, you can articulate those to a customer through this. And you've got more useful links here. So more links to things like the Dynamics 365 migration program and the assets available for that. Uh, information on transitioning from a on-prem to an, a cloud-based solution when it comes to Dynamics as well. So there's all this information here. It could even be that it's not on-prem, but maybe a customer's had the, custom, the plans before, like the customer engagement plan, and now they're moving to the new base and attached license model. So again, more information on that to help with those situations. And again, you can always Always come to us we're more than happy to help we have the dynamics 365 toolkit so this is basically pulling together all the information or all really useful information links collateral and resources available to someone wanting to transact dynamics 365 you may want to build a demo tenant you may want to get consultations from Microsoft for free um, you may want information on learning paths licensing demo videos all this stuff is available through here with even some introductory kind of information and useful links into the Power Platform as well. So there really is some great information and links available here. Clicking into any of these will take you to that useful a bit of information. And again, we can talk about this in more detail. So just go to menu page two. We have information on our programs. So if you are Accelerate program or Angels program, you're not familiar with either of those, you can click in and have a read of those and see what we, what we have available. Information around HoloLens as well, and just the software that goes with HoloLens, so remote assist, guides, and, and uh, product visualize, links to see overviews to those as well, and just more information. Uh, we also have information around Cloud Ascent. If this is not something you're familiar with, this is a really good, useful document for you to go and read through, understanding the Microsoft Propensity tool and how you can increase your upsell and cross-sell um, to your existing customer base by using Cloud Ascent. And again, if it's not something you're familiar with, let's pick up and have a conversation. We have incentives information, so up until the 30th of September. Uh, and then as they renew in October 2020, what do the new incentives look like? Not just for Dynamics, but covering off everything. And there's more information as you go through it. And then uh, the last ones I'm just going to highlight really quickly. You, we have information whether you're starting your Dynamics practice, growing your practice, or optimizing your practice. So whatever level you're at, and I'm just going to use growing as the example, there's great information on re and links to resources here, whether that's an Ingram Micro link or a Microsoft link that you can use using your MPN ID um, that's going to help you from a sales and technical enablement perspective and then a marketing and a, a perspective as well. And for example, or everything on the line is linked, as I say. So if you were to click into here, for example, for the Microsoft marketing assets, it will take you to this website where you can simply, well, I've already searched for Dynamics and that's in there. And all the marketing collateral and tools that are available, as you can see, there's plenty, uh, will come up. This is things like pitch decks, elevator pitches, um, case studies, videos, uh, email templates, those sorts of things that we also have as well. But there's some great stuff from Microsoft, so it's there as well. And you could search for Azure or Microsoft 365. So everything is linked. Um, but yeah, that's the... Uh, Dynamics 365 Partner Guide. Um, everything you can think of, I think, is in here. It's a real great, useful document. We're seeing uh, partners using this really well. So if you would like this, feel free to get in touch. My email address is there. Uh, you can also just contact us through our Accelerate website. Um, but feel free to get in touch. And I'd be more than happy to share this document with you um, and then uh, show you more of the collateral. And we can talk about your Dynamics 365 practice.